Like a beer, man. I feel more confident about myself with a can of beer and arms in it. Oh, yeah. Let's kind of talk about the music. You know, the music is the Mike Dean Band. Hands together for the Mike Dean Band. This guy, see, you just gotta listen to his lyrics, you know, listen to his songs and the way he phrases them. I wanna be a Mustang and run across the land. I think that tie is more country than anything. With uh, it's got some rock, a lot of uh, folk influence. Mike's a songwriter, storyteller. I think as much as anything, you know, I think he writes a song, comes up with the melody, and the band kind of wraps itself around it. And the cowboys would call me hopeless, cause I'd always leave them hopeless. Staring at an empty lasso with a teardrop in their eye. I would definitely say it's influenced by where we're from, the quarter pole. Seven and seven, working, you know, working your whole lifestyle, being offshore, even traveling on a Greyhound bus. You know, he, he's got a way of really putting you there. Grab a bit of tobacco, I put it in my lip. It's almost like watching a movie. So you can see it in the morning, the you know, the pitch is real vivid. You didn't stop him, he can go on for hours, you know, if you've ever seen him live by himself. He puts on a phenomenal show by himself, you know, no breaks, just continues. Oh, Mike's as solid as they come. Um, I've got a friend in, in Nashville who's a producer that I've been telling about Mike for years and years. Man, you got to hear this guy. He's got the best songs. If nothing else, you can sell these songs. And he kept blowing me off and blowing me off about it. And I couldn't figure out why. And then uh, during the uh, recordings for Richard's album a couple of months ago, uh, the same producer was there working with us. Well, Mike Dean shows up, and the producer comes up to me afterwards and said, Man, I didn't know that's who Mike. I always thought Mike Dean was this other guy. Drew Landry is who it turned out to be. <laughs> but once he met Mike, and then Mike actually did a song with Richard Review yeah. on, during that session, next thing you know, this guy's like, I gotta work with Mike. I gotta work with Mike. Wait. It's definitely South Louisiana music. It's not, uh, it's not Cajun or Zotico. I mean, I think definitely if you listen to my music, you'll know where I'm from. Uh, if you listen to the songs, and we wouldn't have it any other way, man. We were, we're from here. We were, we were born here, and that means something. And I do want that to come through in, in the songs. You know, singing about the, the Chafalaya, singing about the oil field, singing. I mean, a lot of people leave here, but a lot of people come back and I'm one of them I'm gonna let you do that later he was throw you it was throwing me off I was trying to hit it which but it was okay. I, I, I tried it the first two rounds I was getting it, the way I was counting I guess it's fine I was just gonna there's always a new song, you know, no matter when we get together, you know, there's always something that he's going to have for us to, uh, you know, to think about and to come up with. Pretty much just playing with me then. Yeah. Because that's what I'm doing. I think for Mike, it's about, it's about trying a new song. and He, he wants to play the song. It's, it's, it's in existence. He, he brought it into the world. It's, it's something he just wants to give. He's definitely a big Tom Petty fan, you know, which we I think we all are as a band. Being a, you know, supposedly a country band, giving us an original sound as well. He has a melody that he, he, he's got in his head that he wants to put out. And, uh, we'll take it and Travis and I'll work out the rhythm section, kind of follow the mic along with the rhythm guitar. Ken will come up with his stuff, you know, his, his guitar parts. And you hadn't seen everything you With Mike, Bring what you're hearing to the music. He's gonna to listen to it. I mean, chances are he's, he's he's all about creativity and allowing us to really do whatever it is that we do to better his songs.
got a pretty good repertoire, and if he and if he knows it, he, he'll he'll bring it. Uh, sometimes in the middle of the shows, it's a very nice break. He just keeps on keeps on keeping on, doing different versions of the songs. It just adds a whole other dimension. It's a lot more personal when it's just Mike and the acoustic guitar. I'd like to get my buddy Mr. Troy Richard up here for a second. 